tech tip how to repin an LML on the ECM wiring harness. So if you come look over here uh, on the ECM, you can tell that the yellow ones are the orange ones that go to the uh, computer and run down the rail. But you've got the gray side and the black side. The gray connector goes to the gray connector back there on the ECM. Black connector goes to the front one on the ECM. We've already repinned these. We put an alternating firing camshaft in here, waggler. We've got the alternating camshaft uh, wiring instructions. So you have to go in here and you have to basically look at your gray connector, black connector, decipher which pins you need to pull and switch to the appropriate wires. Okay, so we've already done the gray connectors and we're moving on to the black connector. All right, so we pulled it off the ECM here and how you separate this to get to your pins is this little black piece right here. It's just a black little plastic clip that mounts down in there. So you take a scribe or something strong, a little flat tip screwdriver and just pry it just a little bit and switch to this other side. Give it a nice little pry. This is plastic people. So you wanna be careful with these things and you don't wanna break them. So work it out a little bit by a little bit. She'll come out there until you can get a grip on it. We'll do it one more. Come on, hillbilly, what are you doing? There she goes. So that pulls out just like that. You want to be very careful with this? Don't lose it, all right? We'll put it up here in this rag. <laughs> so anyways, if you look at the instructions here, we're looking for pin number 14 on the black connector. So if you see down here on your diagram, this is number one. Well, over here, this is 16. So you count back to 16, 15, 14. This is the pin we're looking for. So if we lay this just like this, that will be 16, 15, 14. This is the pin we're gonna take out. So in order to release these pins here, there's little clips down in here and it's a little tab. And you basically pry that tab up, pull it, and then the pin will come right out of the back. So I'm gonna label, I'm gonna pull this all out here. 16 is the wire I'm looking for. That's the big one. Go back. So we're looking for 16. It's always easier. I pulled all this electric to, electrical tape off and this little piece, it gives you freedom with your wires because you wanna be very gentle with these things. But basically identify which wire you're trying to pull looking at 16 and 15 and 14 so it'll be this wire right here and let's see black connector on the instructions pin 14 is tan and white right so we're down here pin 14 what I thought was 14 tan and white my buddy filming here chase he's colorblind so you don't want to put him in charge of a project like this or you'll end up all backwards Anyways, <laughs> so we're going to come back over here. We're going to trigger this tab and pull it. You see how that releases right out the back? Just pulls out like that. Come around here. Boom, nice and easy. That's our tan and white. They only go in one direction, so I'm going to figure out which one to swap this with and then insert it. But you want to make sure on this bottom rail, they're facing basically the release pins. So this little slot right there, I don't know if you can see it, that little slot right there is what that latch, that release pin latches to. So they only go in one direction. So when you go to insert these back in here, we'll come out and we'll go right into the pin we did. We have to go in the same direction so that it slides just right in there, nice and easy, like this one. Yeah, there she goes. And then it'll latch when you go far enough in. Tech tip for the day, repin an ECM on an LML Duramax. Payfield.com.